In this video, we will review how to log into your Volante Cloud Platform and how to log into your individual back office. By now, you should have received an email from either the implementation or support team with your username, password, and your site-specific web address or URL. This address will either be part of your company's profile as a head office, or you may have a direct site login as well. So please do look to that email for further information. Our first step to log into the Volante Cloud is to navigate to the URL in your email. The site you come to will look very similar to the one shown on screen, where you will be prompted to enter your username or email and the temporary password provided to you by our support team. This password is usually TEST1234 with a capital T, or you may have single sign-on enabled. We'll go ahead here and enter our username. For our example, will be T login, and my password will be TEST1234 with a capital T. When I go to log in, the first step will be to update my password. So I'll go ahead and change the password to something new. We do suggest using capitals and lowercase numbers and symbols when creating your new password. And I'll go ahead and submit my new password change. When you first log into the cloud, you may see one or more site logins, depending on the accesses granted to you by your management team. For our example today, we'll go ahead and access the demo back office environment. Once you've selected the back office environment, it will start your back office loaded up in your browser. We do suggest using Chrome as your browser of choice. However, other browsers are compatible. We do not suggest using Internet Explorer or any other unsupported browser. Once the back office has loaded, you will be prompted to log in with the user ID and password provided to you in email. I'll go ahead and enter my user ID and password again. And it is good practice to change your password at this point. So I'll go ahead and choose my change password link, enter the current password of test1234 with a capital T, and I'll go ahead and select a new password. password, and I do need to update the password I entered previously. I'll choose OK. And as we can see, I've now entered the back office. I can see the name of the back office at the top in the gray bar, as well as a currently logged in user. If you run into any problems logging into the back office, please reach out to the support or implementation team member who originally sent your credentials to you, and they can assist you further. Thank you.